This video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. 66 years of expertise built into every tool. And by House Call Pro. If you're still handwriting invoices or using any kind of paper for your business, it's time to get with the times and check out House Call Pro for dispatching, scheduling, invoicing, estimates, texting customers to let them know that you're on the way, and texting them to let them know when the job is complete, accepting payments, whether it's cash, check, credit, or credit card processing. Check out House Call Pro. For a free demo, go to www.housecallpro.com forward slash Israel HVAC for a free demo and a discount on the product. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to do a video here uh, continuing the trend. Let me fix my camera. Okay. I'm going to do a video here just kind of, you know, continuing on the trend of trying to help out beginners. I hate this stupid big ass filter thing my one that slides over the mic itself the little small one my son grabbed a hold of it and chewed it so I got to get a new one but anyway um this one's going to be about meters okay uh I get a lot of comments about what meter should I buy now you know that one thing you don't want to do is cheap out on a meter I have three meters here that I own I really like them one of them is very reasonably reasonably priced the other two they're a little expensive, but these three meters do everything you need to do. Now, one of them is a field piece. I have one of the higher end field pieces. You can drop down uh, to a lower field piece, and I will pull that up on Google to, as well. I don't actually own it, um, but I will see if I can help you guys out on some pricing. Give me one second. Okay, um, I'm gonna. I want to make sure that this one does everything that you're gonna need it to do before I recommend it. I believe it does, but okay. Let's start off with the ones that I have. So my go-to meter is the Field Piece SC640. The only one above this one is the SC660. The reason that I don't own that one is because it's why the only the only thing different between it and this one is it's uh, wireless. You can remote to your to wireless stuff, which I don't need, and it does uh, phase phase uh, rotation for you. I don't really need that either. So here it is, the SC640. Now, I have fluke leads on it that are extremely long. I like the field piece leads that come with it, but they're kind of short. So, um, this is my go-to meter. I really like it. This meter is going to run you. It, you know, if you can get it from your supplier cheaper, but, you know, online I'm looking at them. Every place that owns them, you know, all the major places to get them online, it looks like it's running in the 200 and. $47 range. I don't remember what I paid for mine. I got it from my supplier. They gave me a good deal on it. But on the internet, just by looking, it's around $247. So this thing does everything. I mean, it lights up. It it does dual display. You hit the dash. It's on volts right there. You hit select. You can do volts and amps. It does inrush. It has a magnet. That you can stick on the unit like this, or you can leave it like that, and it'll stick. Uh, the screen lights up. There's not much this meter won't do. The head swivels. When you open the jaw, there's a light. Great meter. My personal favorite. My next meter that I really like is now a lot of people may not have heard of this one but uh, they're they're they make good stuff i call it fleur i don't know if that's how you pronounce it i've heard people pronounce it fleer i've heard people pronounce it fleur so i say fleur i don't know if that's right or not this is so i'm gonna say fleur 
If I'm wrong, you can correct me. This is the Fleur CM46. Very nice meter. Um, it does everything. It also lights up. Now, it doesn't swivel or anything. There's no light in the jaw. But this is a really, really nice meter. It does capacitance. It does everything. This is, the, this is a good clamp meter right here. I really like it. Now, I actually did not pay for this one. It was given to me, not by Fleur. It was given to me by somebody else that wanted me to try it out. But I went ahead and pulled it up. And uh, it looks like the going price for this meter is $239.99. So that's $239.99. That looks like that's what the going rate is for this meter. Um, I really like it. And it is a great meter. It does a great job. So, you know, to any of the new guys out there, I suggest that, you know, if like, let's say, well, I can afford to buy like one expensive thing, but I'm going to have to cut corners on other things. I would suggest that you spend m good money to start on a, on a meter. I mean, buy yourself a good meter. I mean, that's what I did when I got into the trade. I didn't have a lot of money. So I spent when my expensive purchase was my meter, but I have a meter here that I want to show you guys, and I have a couple to give away. So if you're lucky enough, you could possibly win one of these. And don't worry, I'll announce uh, I'll announce when I'm giving it away, so you will not miss out. And it's, the price is not bad. Even if you don't win one, you can. I mean, it's very affordable. And that is the Amp Probe ACD14 Pro. Now I'm not. I have one. It's. Uh, I don't have it handy. It's out in the. Uh, it's over there somewhere, so I'm not going to go grab it, and I'm not going to unbox a new one because of the giveaway. But it does everything. Dual display, backlight. It's got a backlight. Now, the head doesn't swivel or nothing. It does capacitance, voltage, amps, uh, voltage, DC, and AC. It, it does micro amps for flame sensors. It reads temperature, capacitance, continuity, ohms. It I mean, it literally does everything. It does everything that these other two meters do that I showed you. And it's very reasonably priced. True Tech Tools actually has it for $179. Uh, there's a couple other, like Test Equipment Depot is a pretty popular website. They have it for $131. Um, and then TestEquipment.net has it for $149. So very less than 200 bucks, no matter where you purchase it for a meter that does everything. All right. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm trying not to keep these videos too long. So I'm going to wrap this up real quick. I'm going to do one more thing. A guy commented and wanted to know how I did my leads. Uh, now these are, these are fluke leads on here. So they're not very long. Now that's another thing about this field piece. It has lead storage here where you can store your leads but the fluke leads don't fit in there too good. I mean, you can fit them in there. You got to kind of force them. So I don't do it that way. So this is how I store my leads. I'm going to try to do this backwards. I turn them up. And then I just wrap through the amp clamp. And I'm going all the, to the bottom down here. Try to do it. Okay, and that'll be the last one. And then what I'll do is, is open the clamp and then make one, two, three. And then they hang back here. Now, a lot of guys will probably say, oh, you're going to mess up your leads. They're going to break, blah, 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 by doing it that way. I would have to disagree. These are very sturdy leads. I've been folding them like this for a couple years now since I've had this meter. And these are the same leads, and I haven't had any issues. So that's how I store the leads. Now, that's only because those are fluke leads. The field piece leads would fit in here, and it wouldn't be an issue. Okay? Uh, the FLIR and the AMP probe do not have that option, so I would pretty much do it the same way. Just wrap, just like so. 
And all these meters have cases. They all come with a case. So that's it. I hope this video helps somebody. That's the goal. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at jisrael, H-V-A-C, at gmail.com, or text me, or you can even call me if you want to. And I'm going to put the right phone number on the screen this time because the last video, I said the phone number right, but I typed it wrong. So the phone number is... 225-308-1740. Call me, text me, email me. Whatever you want to do. I'll be glad to help you. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.